Hey everybody, it's Maggie Mulhern from Modern Salon TV. We are here in Orlando, Florida at Matrix Destination 2018. And yes, that is Nicholas French, artistic director with Matrix and just all around fabulous guy. Uh, Nicholas and I have known each other for many years and I have created great photo shoots. I'll take credit for, for the stuff. No, stuff since, that you since we were children, we've been working together. <laughs> he is so <laughs> amazing. Yeah, yeah. And, and one thing that we were talking yeah. about is that there are these phenomenal styling techniques from the 50s that people have forgotten about. Yeah. And that you want to show uh, the modern audience how to do these. And to keep your looks modern, you can use these old techniques. Because as James says, what does James say? Don't forget about our past because our past is our future. And James has been Nicholas's assistant for almost 20 years. Almost actually, 20 we travel all over the world together, and it's always good because he's sort of, you know, he's like inside my brain most of the time. So you don't have to say anything is done, which is great. And that's important to have a great assistant. Yeah. And he just cut my bank, so I'm very grateful to James. <laughs> all right. So, what is number one? Well, you know, I mean, this is great technique. First of all. Uh, Years ago, in, in my salon in London, I had an um, air hostess come in, American, and uh, she said, I want a friend's haircut. I said, well, you need to bring your friend in, because <laughs> I didn't know what it was. And you know when you have those floppy side pieces that land in the wrong place? And uh, I thought, ooh, what can I do? And I reverted to my father's technique, which is basically what he did. I'm coming over here. What they did in the 1950s was to, can you see that in there? What they did in the 1950s, they actually overdirected the hair the wrong way, and they tease cut the hair dry, okay? So um, they dry cut everything. And what they did, they teased the hair in, and then they cut at an angle for the front of the hair, like that, okay? And what that did was it reduced the weight. So you see, when I came it out, and I can go to the other side, this will be nice and light and airy. So this is something you want to practice on a mannequin or a client that you don't want to come back to the salon. <laughs> okay, but you can see what's happened here because that is now nice and light and airy, isn't it? And before it was rather heavy in the front. So that's the cutting technique. And basically what they did was go around the head and it's having the clean eye, Maggie, right? So you have to have a clean eye. You have to really be able to judge how much you're going to cut. So you push the hair in and then you cut like this. It's rather dramatic, but what happens is when you comb it out, you get this beautiful light and airy feel to the hair. Okay, like that. I'll do another section and then we're going to show you the brushing technique which they use because the Demon brush um, was, was created by Demon Dean who is a scientist. And he went to New York and they were going to make, 1938, they were going to make bulletproof vests out of nylon. NY is New York and LON is London. It was a collaboration to make nylon. And they came back and they didn't do it and they, he phoned my father up and said, my sister has very unruly hair. If you can get a brush to go through her hair, we're in business. So he created the Demon brush with Demon Din. And this is what it was designed for to start with, was to really um, back brush the hair. So I'll show you. Can I have a... So, you know, you're saying unruly hair. What if your client has very curly hair or unruly hair? Will this cutting style work? Oh, actually, with curly hair, it's brilliant. But you have to really leave the teasing in as you go around the head so you remember what, where you started and where you're going to end. Okay, and I know people are going to want to know, what shears are you using? Um, me, I, I've got very long old-fashioned shears, actually, um, that I use. But they used to use very long shears in those days. So I, I keep to that because you've got more of a, you know, you can see you've got more of a, a range with the long shears. And even you use your fingers to just cut the hair like that. And you can see you get this beautiful, beautiful finish. Now, from, thanks very much. And is this the brush? This is actually a, a copy of the Demon brush. It's got my face on it, which is actually, I don't quite look like that anymore. But, but what happened in those days, what they used to do when they dressed the hair, after the hair cut, which was dry, they'd, damp, they'd shampoo the hair, and then they would set it in basically large pink curls on the top, small ones at the bottom, okay? And then when they came to dress the hair, what they did was use their thumb on the brush, and they start squeezing the hair in. Look and you get this huge, voluminous hairstyle in the hair. All right, let's see that also from the front. Let's, let's turn her it. around. I thought of that, yeah. Okay, so you can see how much volume you get from the hair, yeah? Because they liked sort of full hair in those days as well. And there's another option, you can actually do it through, you hold the brush like this, and then you squeeze into, you see? 
and then you put the head back. It's very flamboyant sort of uh, dressing technique. And you put the head back, and then you come over the top. You come over the top of the hair. Can we do this from the front? Here, yeah. and I'll, I'll yeah. get on the other side of you. Yeah. I have to get on this side. Let me just leave that baby in. Okay. So you come through the top of the hair, and you see how I hold the hair, and I just comb the very, very top to get the to get the wave in there, you can see. I'm just gonna do a little bit of hairspray, and I'll show you another technique to finish up with to get all the ends done. You can see how full that hair is. And why is it full? Because the ends are very light and airy, so it really picks up on the teasing of the hair. You can see the wave goes in beaut beautifully. So like this you do on dry hair. Is the hair prepped at all with any product? Um, well, actually, I've got some raw product I popped in there, like smoothing milk. It was really nice, you know, because nowadays products, the big thing that's changed in hairdressing in the last 80 years is product, because all the products were really alcohol-based in those days. So the hair was much crisper. It wasn't really beautiful looking. So now we have the wonderful luxury of having incredible products from Matrix that we can put into the hair, and it really feels like hair. In those days, this would look very crisp, but that's what clients wanted, because it lasted for a week. So, so this, is, this is what you were asking yeah. for. And the other thing is, what we do to get the little ends down, you see these little... Right, I'm sneaking over here again, sorry. Lovely, yeah, lovely, lovely, jubbly. What we do to get the ends um, down in the hair is to really uh, get a barber strip, like this, you know, like a barber strip, and then we soak it with hairspray, which is marvelous. It's, it's, this style fits is beautiful. In the, in the old days, we used to put pins in and spray the hair because it lasted for a week and it didn't move. <laughs> okay, so now we have the luxury of a hairspray that builds up and can brush out, you know? So it um, comes back. So what we do with the ends, just go across the top to get all the ends down with the barber strip and hairspray without spraying it directly onto the hair, which is a nice a luxury to have. So I'm just going to use my comb to finish the hair off. Okay, so we just use the brush on the top. You can see how nice and loose that's looking and a big tip is to really put the head back yeah like this like that you can see how it's starting to look really nice and then when you comb the hair there's a guy in paris in the 60s only used a comb in the hair it was brilliant called Maurice frank and we're going to push this and he pushes the hair up with a comb so you always pushed up and then underneath when you tease the hair it was like holding the comb like money and then you just squeeze that in and then I'm going to finish with a shiner brush um, just to get all the little ends down. So you get a beautiful sort of wave in the hair. But all these old techniques, you should study them. There's lots of different books and things you can get. And, and my father, actually, I have 47 films of him working uh, on the newsreels. Because in those days, there wasn't any television in the homes in the 1950s. So my dad uh, knew somebody in the cinema business who put newsreels on. So it's like a, there's a war in Afghanistan, say, and there's a fashion show in London. So he did all that kind of thing, which was really great. If I could have the china brush just to finish up with. And you see how I comb very carefully, making sure the teasing is still in there, and just push the hair, see the beautiful waves. Then I can come over the top with my shiner brush, and you get this lovely, lovely sort of wave. And it's all about peas, actually, when you do hair. It's about patience, perseverance, you know, persistence, you know, perceiving what you're doing. It's all that kind of thing. So you've got to take time. And, and this shiner brush, this is a Nicholas French shiner brush? Yes, Nicholas French shiner brush. And, and years ago, I used to borrow makeup artists' brushes, you know, the little sort of thick brushes like this, to actually finish their hair off. And then I decided to make them. So it, it's 100% bore bristle. Uh, they sell at Salon Centric. And uh, it's, it's a beautiful thing. I mean, it's very light. You can see how I'm just finishing the hair off without disturbing um, the actual teasing of the hair. You can see how that beautiful wave's being created. And what, what do I not do? I don't worry about any tiny ends like this because I can finish everything off with, um, with a hairpin if I have to. So that's a lot of tips and tricks. That is fabulous, and I'm so grateful because I know you're going to teach a class right now. But look at this. This is as modern as it comes. I mean, this is yeah. like a fantastic look. That because I'm using my hands more than brushes and utensils. Like I'm just teasing the hair with my fingers. And it suddenly becomes modern, doesn't it? It's exactly. extraordinary. From the 50s right to 2018. And it's just a matter of working the hair. You know? Well, if you get a chance, go to uh, Nicholas's 
page, see all of his winning Nahas and everything else you've done. I'm coming over here so we get our model in the middle. And uh, Nicholas, again, how do people find, I know your wrist. The wrist um, you have a magnetic wristband as well for putting all your hairpins on, okay? Um, we're selling them at the show here, but you can find them at Salon Centric and be at the Premier Show, the Midwest Show, um, or online, actually, nicholasfrench.com. Perfect. And I know we're going to be seeing you at Naha, too. So again, from Matrix Destination 2018 in Orlando, Florida. Thank you, Nicholas, and have a great class in a few thank minutes. You, it's marvelous. Okay, take care.